Good morning. It's February 3rd, 2018. It's one below zero outside, so I'm confined to my cold, dreary basement. But this helps brighten it up a little bit. This is Hoya Salada, and it's been a long time coming for this Hoya for me. I first purchased the plant um, as Hoya Pubicalix White Dragon, which was the original name of this plant back in 2010. I waited two years patiently tending it, waiting for the white flowers which would appear on a pubicalyx which would just blow me away because all of the pubicalyx are pinks or dark, dark reds or close to blacks but nothing like uh, white. Well in 2012 it bloomed and unfortunately it was the pink dragon and he had the vendor had sent the wrong wrong plant so I pretty much I gave up on this plant and then a few years ago I decided to purchase it again hoping and praying that it truly was the um, white dragon and, and in the meantime this plant got a new name Hoya uh, Salada and now I finally flowered it so I am I couldn't be more thrilled and the the flowers are almost snow white it's it's incredible for a plant that's so closely related to to pubicalyx so look at that flower and I'll have several great still photos at the end of this video so stick around um, this plant of all the um, between white dragon pink dragon and black dragon which I've now flowered all of them the um, the white dragon here, Hoya Salada, was probably the most difficult of the of the three. I don't know if I got off to a bad start or a bad mix. I, I had it growing in orchid bark for a long, long time, which I don't think was the right thing. But finally, um, I I added some peat-based potting mix to it, and last summer in the greenhouse, it started to finally grow decently for the first time. So this plant took me about three years to flower. I think if I would have got off to a better start, it could have been done in, in two quite easily. Uh, native of the Philippines, um, an island off the Philippines where it grows on the sides of cliffs. Just um, really great Hoya. Has the same scent to me as most of the other pubicalyx. Just a, a faint um, kind of chocolatey, sweet smell not not overpowering at all very nice good morning it's Doug for Vermont Hoyas again this is just a quick addendum to my first video on Hoya Salada I just wanted to show the flowers after eight full days of being open um, if that's not amazing I don't know what is this is an incredible plant those white um, off-white bone flowers are just absolutely stunning and to last eight full days after opening and they're still hanging on they still look pretty decent um, that's an amazing plant you can't ask for more than that so um, I just can't give this a higher recommendation absolutely wonderful Hoya well that's it just wanted to show these flowers eight days after opening and once again I'll be back really soon with another great Hoya thanks for watching